Hello everybody, my name is Anthem and welcome back to Let's Play Europe of Dallas 4 as the Celtic Union. So let's continue on from where we last left off. England is no longer a valid rival. I think we just lost like both Burgundy and... Oh no, we didn't lose Burgundy, we just lost England. Which makes sense, England's a three province nation, uh, three province country. Who's basically meaningless at this point. I think we are slightly above our force limit. Like why are we losing money now? Reinforcements is what I'm assuming. Actually, no. Or force limit is 0.8, so it's not that. Oh, did we lose uh, transfer trade power from... Oh, we had, we had to have. Uh, let me just see. No, we didn't. So I actually have no idea why we're losing more money. I know we're spending more money in maintenance, just in general. But, um... Let's have ships filled. What's we have another 15 ships here. Costing embargo on England. Oh yeah, because they're no longer our rival. Economy, revoke embargo. So maybe that's why we were losing money? I don't really know. It's not our colonies, because we're not uh, we're not over a colony limit. Yeah, how many troops does England or Sweden have now? Well they have a lot because uh, you know, Lithuania joined this war. For seemingly no reason, I don't know why they did it, but we're actually just gonna go to Vastragoland. We're gonna have our eleven transports. Uh, meet us up in Holland. I don't think Lithuania has any boats, do they? Well, they, they have five trading ships, five, like, galleys. So, let's see, where do we want to protect trade? In the English Channel? Well, that makes us enough money. Okay, let's see, where are our merchants? Our merchants are here. Our merchants are also here. Let's go to Lubeck. I think Lubeck will give us the most money. Or at least, you know, it'll transfer more money into our capital node. And then we'll just kind of auto transport back to Lincoln. Okay, so these four ships. No, not these. Yeah, these ships combine. These ships combine. We're gonna have these ones in the English Channel. We should probably just rename this. Like this is what the English Channel fleet. No, this is the Lubeck fleet. Lubeck fleet. And I didn't save it. That was a mistake. The Lubeck, the Lubeck fleet, and this one is the English Channel fleet. English Channel fleet. I think did I just put English wrong? No, I didn't. This is also. Um, oh, this, these are transports. So this, you know, transport fleet. Transport fleet. This is. These ships don't matter. And, oh yeah, our, colon, our explorer. I keep forgetting about our explorer. Yeah, explore the Amazonians. Whatever. Yeah, now we have a colon, colonial nation down here. Colonial Mexico, I don't know when that's going to be done. It'll be done, like, I think 1512 is when it said it would be done. Yeah, all these ships. You here. You there. Combine. Protect trade in the English Channel. But didn't we have... Like, where's our third merchant? Oh, yeah, he's down here in, um... Champagne. We don't... Do we have a North Sea Fleet? We do. I don't know where they are, though. Is it just these five boats? It's just these five boats. The North Sea... Fleet. And then the 11th... The 11th Fleet is, um... Well, they're also English Channel, so they should combine with this one. Yeah, there we go. This is our Explorer. Explorer fleet. And then there'd just be a bunch of, like, one ships. But they don't really matter too much. And we're discovering a lot more land, which is great. Oh, Castilla's finally deciding to colonize. Which kind of sucks, but I'm not too worried about it. I mean, it's like the more, um... Colonial know powers around because it's kind of boring if I just absolutely dominate the colonial the colonial game right it's way more fun if um also the Lithuanian order did Mona die I think Mona finally she insulted the court twice and then died god god damn it Mona let's boost ability I guess ability is like really expensive that's probably because of our super high overextension so maybe we should have waited like a year to do that but I'm not too worried about it. Also, hey, you're at war with Denmark. 
Muscovy's gonna rule the entire Danish army. I mean, it's not really my, it's not really my concern. But, um, we're 20%. Almost all the army comes from Lithuania, and I still don't know if Lithuania can really... I guess they can maybe, maybe get a... Nah, it looks, nah, they hate each other. Lithuania, I think, has no way to get to Denmark. Which is great for, um, for us. Also, London, or England. It's time for war. France won't join us? We'll be called into... Oh, come on. We're, we're not... Like, are we considered co-belligerents in basically every single war? Is that is that what happened, and that's why it says that I would be called into multiple wars? I mean, it's not like we need them. Oh, but I guess they would call in Austria and Portugal. So maybe we will actually wait until the Swedish war's over before we, uh, before we attack England again. Because I really don't want to bother... Wait, see, I don't care about Europe. Maybe we can go to... Now let's get more of, uh... Or North America done. So maybe... I don't think these ships have any more to combine with, so... Let's just actually look at the building tab. There's one more boat being built in Yorkshire. So do we send... Where can we send these ships that'll actually be worthwhile? I don't actually know. So they create trade value. And the Gulf of St. Lawrence. Which one actually channels straight into... Chesapeake Bay is what goes straight into, um to the English Channel. So maybe we won't actually protect trade in, like, the, uh, Chesapeake Bay. But we probably don't. At least not yet. Not until we get, like, a big colonial nation. Bordeaux. Probably not important. The English Channel. We have 58%. So maybe we still want to still send more ships into the English Channel. Maybe we don't. Where's, uh, the North Sea? Oh, the North Sea actually looks like it'd be way more profitable. So let's do that. Oh, there's a revolt going on. So did they get... who? Who's uh, tech did they get? I think they get our tech, which kind of sucks. Uh, yeah, they absolutely... No, they have slightly worse tech, but... um, Really, is this considered two different armies? That's weird. Do we not have a leader over here? I don't think we had a leader over in these armies. That, uh... That was a mistake, and now we have these rebels who are going to halt down the, the siege timers here. So we're actually going to send a small stack of six, seven thousand troops, and we will send them straight to uh, our Mexican holdings. Hopefully, the AI doesn't take a really, really stupid path that'll uh, sink the entire navy, which is very, very possible. Actually, yeah, because I don't, because I don't trust the AI mechanics. I'm just going to do it manually. So we can go to the Azores. Attrition, attrition, attrition. And then it should be fine here. We can take three things of attrition. We can go all the way up and around and take two ticks of attrition. We'll take a few more ticks, actually. Actually, no, they want to go down. Morocco, will you give us fleet basing rights? They won't. Well, they're very really close to it, but they, they won't do it now. Yeah, well, I don't think they'll sink. Actually, well, they might sink if they do something stupid like that. Now, I think now Castile should have an opinion penalty for fleet basing rights. I oh, know they're rivaling us, but um, I thought they gave a. I, I swear there was a penalty for um. You're also a colonizer, and they won't do it for you. But maybe that was when clone or fleet basing rights actually gave you colonial range. It doesn't anymore. So wait, where did I call it? Was it this one? No. Was it this one? It was this one. This one actually finished first? I thought this one was second, too. Yeah, so once this one's done... Did they siege... Oh, they siege it down. Those bastards. Okay. So where do we want to send another colonist? We can send one here. Yeah, we'll send it to... Uh, whatever this island's called. I actually don't, I don't know what it's called. Other than it's in... Uh, Nova Scotia, that's about all I know. Oh, we didn't have an... We don't, did our explorer die? I guess our explorer died. Explore the Ivory Coast, White Sea... Yeah, well, let's explore more of the New World. So we gained three cores. That doesn't really help, doesn't really help us, because um, now they have a positive uh, thing here, so they could win the siege. 
don't let these boats sink. Is basically what I'm trying to do. Just don't, just don't sink. You should be in colonial range. Yeah, you're in range for the rest of the rest of the uh, rest of the journey. So I'm not gonna worry too much. I'm gonna send you also to uh, the North Sea. I think these numbers are still a bit screwy about uh, how much trade power everything's gonna give you. But you know what can you do really about that? Okay, now we have 12 troops. We have a 141. Do we have a better general? We have a 3 2. Ah, uh, no, we'll, we'll be fine in this battle, but maybe the next one. Gotta make sure we keep our core. Also, we were probably losing money because of overextension. It was probably ruining our trade power in um, other nodes. 15 unrest here. That's, that's really bad. It's 15 unrest, but it's still negative. Oh, because of the recent uprising. Excellent. We'll wait maybe a month here with these ships will repair. I hate that, um... You know, it's... Oh, they're actually going to attack us. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm... If you want to do that, I'm absolutely okay with it, but... You know, it's probably a mistake on your part. Yeah, we'll just siege back down the, uh... We can actually probably just assault it. Yeah, and we'll just, you know, get our core back. And this, so now instead of, uh, I mean, now we, at least we can, like, start call, or using our missionaries effectively. These are actually pretty high base size provinces, so. Let's see, missionaries. 32 months. Yeah, we'll do it. In Umayal. So, yeah, so we'll go here. Because that's probably one of the only provinces that might still have unrest in the area. Oh, wait, the, the war with the... Den what, Den really, Denmark? You took this province? Of all the provinces you could take, you took this one? I mean, you, like, you kind of cut England or Sweden in half, but you know, it's, it's a weird choice. But either way, I think it's time to attack England. Take what is rightfully ours. Take Kent, which is our mission. Everybody will join us. Well, not Denmark. D Denmark and Bavaria, they don't matter too much. But I just need France, basically, to deal with Austria. And, yeah, we'll declare the war. Like, the war should already be, like, way in our favor. Like, they see have a high amount of troops, but... Yep, and... New Celtic Union. I kind of don't like that. Celtic America, I think, just sounds better, so... Celtic America. Instead of, like, New Celtic Union... You know, it's, it's kind of a dumb name. You know, let's be honest. But now we have... Okay, we have one colonist. Once again, we want to go somewhere that's, like, really easy to protect... And that has pretty high base stacks with low aggression. Like, we could go into, like, Cuba. Is that what we want? I don't really know. We could start trying to make this, you know, colony over here bigger. Is this Canada? Or is this not Eastern America? Let's go here. Basically, we just have a bunch of, like, trading ports along the, uh, along the American coast right now. You know, that's fine. Break off enough for a siege, we'll go down here, break enough for a siege, we'll do it twice and then send one of them up north. And then we kind of rearrange everything, also, Livonian Order does kind of, <laughs> they kind of shrink down back to their original size. Also, I probably should have rivaled somebody during that uh, time. Yeah, but we still have a bunch of cannons, right? Yeah, we have like a ton of cannons. Which was probably sent on London. How many cannons do we need on, we need six to get a plus two bonus. And this will give us a six, so... And what we're actually going to do, we're going to select the army, combine, create a new unit. Just get rid of all the infantry. They don't need to be here. Send them to Oxfordshire. You don't have any cannons, but look, one cannon is still enough for a siege bonus, right? Yeah. What are you doing? Don't blockade Utrecht. That doesn't, that doesn't help anybody. If anything, we should probably be blockading uh, over here. So instead of the... Uh, you're North Sea, right? Yeah, you're the North Sea fleet. What are you doing? You're the English Channel Fleet. You're the Lubeck Fleet. So instead of the Lubeck Fleet, how about we just go over here? We'll blockade England for now. And we'll just get all of that done. Uh, consolidate. Split off these two troops because they don't need to be there. Taking more attrition than we need to. Select army. Consolidate. Break off these two troops because they don't need to be there. And we can deal six cannons for the siege value. And actually, we should probably send in, you know, one infantry with the 
you know, with the general. Because I think the general has... The general has one siege value too, doesn't he? Yeah. We'll send him in. Him in. Just siege out London as fast as possible. I think we... Like, are, I think we're just going to outright annex England. Like, right now. Instead of, uh, you know, maybe... Trying to, like, vassalize them or anything. Like, London's expensive. Like, it's probably, like... Could have guessed, like, 200 admin points. It's 250 admin points. And we don't even have a claim on it. So maybe it would make more sense to, uh... To vassalize. Would it make more sense to play Diplo? Or just... Yeah, but I kind of want the, the trade port right now. It's, like, really, really good. And then maybe you can, like, take the north coast of, uh, the Burgundy. Like, does that, does that make sense? Like, I, in my head, it makes sense. So. So this is at zero. It's all at zero. This is at 3.8. Which is surprising. Actually, this doesn't count for, um, recent uprising. Why not? Was this, I guess, I actually don't know. Now I'm actually a little bit interested. Yeah, these are all done. We'll actually send the 6,000 cannons up to Essex. Do we need 6,000 cannons? I don't know, but it's, you know, it's going to make the siege go a lot faster. So, England, if we just want to vassalize you, how much is that going to cost? It's going to cost 82%. Just 82% to vassalize and take Kent, which is our mission. So, do we, do we annex or do we vassalize? That's the, that's the big question right now. And the, the answer is I don't know. Like, I don't know which one's better... Like, how much, how much, this is, uh, how much trade power does this one province give? 42. 42 trade power in that one province. It's, like, it's crazy how much trade power it gives you. So, I think we will, I think it was Phalanx. The Austrians and the French are fighting. How many times have the Austrians and the French fought over the independence of England? Probably, I mean, is there a count here? No. I'm sure there was a way to tell how many wars this has been. Yeah, but this, you don't need to be in here anymore. You can just go back to protecting trade in Lubeck. Uh, call ally. The Papal States is at war with Tunis. Somehow? Tunisian cons... Tunis is trying to take Sardinia? What? I'll accept the call. What a weird... Tunis is trying to take Sardinia. They probably are doing it because they have the Ottomans supporting them. The Ottomans are actually kind of falling apart to Orthodox Zealots. Just don't... Do the Ottomans suck right now? They have 29,000 troops. This isn't... You know, which isn't bad, but... That's a little bit weak on... For, uh... A little bit weak for the Ottomans. There's the, uh... Almost, like, 60 years... 60, 70 years into the game. Utrecht is still down here. I don't really care. <laughs> France can get sieged all at once. It doesn't, it doesn't really affect me too much. I'm sorry, so we need 100%. So if we just kind of stay in the war until 15, 15, 17, we'll just be able to full annex them because we'll look at 100% instantly. Oh no, native uprising. So two colonies are actually almost done here. Uh, let's see, so it's this one, this one's in Canada, and this one is St. Kilts. Or St. Kitts, I should say. Excellent. So this is done. We could, uh... Should we, we should probably, like, try to connect Celtic Canada get together, right? Like, that just makes sense. So I think we'll just go here. We'll pro yeah, I probably think I might just use all my columns to kind of connect Celtic Canada. Celtic America, too. We probably need to connect those provinces as well. Yeah, so St. Kitts. You know, doing pretty well. Until the Protestant Reformation happens, which surprisingly... Oh, no, we're at 101%, so it can it can happen now. I will stay Catholic for the uh, Treaty of Tour de Lis. That, that's really my main reason for staying Catholic right now, is because I want that, uh... I want those bonuses. So this will be done in 1515. This will be done in, like, 1513, I think. No, March. Will this be done in March? This will be done in August. So we'll have one province that, um, lose one stability. Oh, but that, that missionary strength going up... It's definitely going to speed this up along. Speed this up along? Uh, it, it, wow, it's faster by two months. Never mind. It was meaningless. Basically. Stability. Boost stability. Let's go back over here. Yeah, we'll just watch these guys fight it out. Like, I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, so this is going to get colonized Big Mac Paddywhack. We'll just kind of colonize... Let's actually, no, don't colonize this one. We'll colonize the ones along the way that, um, don't have high, 
don't have high aggression. Like, and we'll just kind of colonize a little bit. You know, it'll 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 work out basically. After eventually, all of this will uh, will be under the glorious Celtic banner. All of it will be, you know, belong to the Irish people, which is um everyone over here. Everything's going great, but I do think this is a great time to end the episode. So thank you for watching. My name is Ben Anthem. If you have enjoyed, remember the thumbs up. If you if you did not enjoy, you can always thumb down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.